Dredd is smoking. Dredd is wearing his safety burst. See it? I always want to be safe. Following OSHA rules, when I do a dangerous video, I wear a safety vest to protect the words that I speak from offending people who subscribe to my videos or potential subscribers. I believe in being safe. I don't have my safety helmet on, but the ceiling has been pretty secure. I don't think we have to worry about that. I have a friend, a senior citizen. He lives on around $650 a month, and he lives in subsidized housing. Subsidized housing doesn't like him there because they could get more for that subsidized apartment if they threw him out on the street. So they have done everything in their power to make his life pure hell. Now, the latest thing they've done in subsidized housing, I only mention this because a lot of us don't live in subsidized housing and we don't understand the kind of harassment and abuse that is leveled on these people that are living in houses that you and I pay for because we are the taxpayers. Now they've passed a rule that they cannot smoke in the house. They cannot smoke outside on the property. Nope. They've got to walk several blocks, even though they have bad hearts, even though their hips are where they require canes and walkers. We want them to be healthy, so we'll make them walk a few blocks to smoke their cigarette. Reminds me of the movie that Howard Beale was in, Network, where he said, I'm mad as hell that I'm not going to take it anymore. Whatever happened to this free country? What? In the school now, we have this thing that originated with the Nazis, by the way. Behavioral modification. We will modify his behavior because he's poor. He can't smoke. In the schools, we have behavioral modification. Let's take the Pepsi out of the pop machine and let's put in asparagus juice. That'll work great. We'll modify their, we'll modify their behavior. People in the schools, you're damn well modifying the kids' behavior. Because now we start them out early being dealers. They understand that they can put Fritos and they can put Pepsi in their backpack and sell it behind the lockers. Teach them to deal early at an early age. What are you idiots thinking about? And you? You, the educators, are the educated? No wonder this country is going to hell in a handbasket and upsetting old people like myself. We have to don safety vests to do videos to talk about it. I know another senior citizen. She lives in a mobile home, surrounded by trailer trash. I, I never use that term, but I've spent some time at her house and looked at the people who abuse her by giving them signals like this because she's old and she's scared and she doesn't like people pulling into her driveway and gawking in her window. Nobody will help her. I get so mad that I scream I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. She just got a letter from Social Security saying that her benefits, which are under $700 a month, are going to be reduced to 314 a month. Her rent is 425 a month. Now, you do not have to be Einstein to figure out that this lady has a serious problem, even though she has an aneurysm on the top of her heart that needs an operation. But she doesn't really know what to do because she's so scared. Damn you people. There's a lady who's worked her entire life. She has a few years, maybe less than that. And we cannot leave her alone. And they're going to cut her Social Security. We spent the day yesterday, and I think that's worked out. It's some bureaucratic paperwork there, thanks to some computer Bill Gates. It's the bottom of it, I bet. But it scared the hell out of her, and it made me so damn mad that, that I could scream. I know a third story, too. I'd love to tell it, but for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to it, go into it here in the video. We've, we have things that are very bad that are happening, and I keep getting 
emails from people saying, don't talk about the negative things. Be the clown that you are. Be funny. It's hard to be funny when you're shaking because you're so mad. When you're mad as hell and you're not going to take it anymore like that Howard Beale. Am I the only one that feels this pain that is thrown on people constantly when they try to modify their behavior? You have cancer, Jerry. Why are you smoking? Because it calms me down that I don't like chemical drugs. So there. If you don't like it, then stay away from me. Let me live out my life in peace, if it's a free country. But this garbage, this housing authority here in Vancouver, that says you can't smoke in your own house, you can't smoke on this property, you got to go smoke out in the street. And then they have the audacity to tell me smoking is harmful to your health. Standing out in the street to smoke is harmful in your health. Sneaking around, hiding behind a tree, trying to get some relief, doing what you've done for 50 years to calm yourself down. And in the rain you catch colds, maybe. I don't know. I'm not an expert in these things, but I think one would be healthy or if they could just do what they want to do in their own house. So he's probably going to smoke and he's probably going to get thrown out on the street. And everybody thinks that's all right. I don't. I think we should have a right, if this is a free country, to do things that we have done our entire life. Well, this was a free country without our behavior being modified. So, you think I'm out of line for being so mad? You think I'm out of line because I think somebody has to speak on these things. And if this upsets you, I'm sorry. But it's hard to sit back and watch people being abused. We find the rich man and the poor man just the same. If the poor man had a Ferrari and he drove it down the freeway, an electric Ferrari, to be energy efficient, and he drove it at 121 miles an hour, he would be pulled over and he would be fined. The exact same fine that a Bill Gates would be fined. The rich can get away with these things. The poor cannot. Why don't we find people as percentage of their income? If you want to drive your Ferrari 120 miles an hour, well, drunk, we'll pay a fine of 1.5% of your income. That might be a little more fair. We don't believe in being fair. We only believe in doing the rotten things. This country has millions and millions of classified documents and secrets, things that we do in the dark, that we pay for, but we shan't know about them. When you do things in the dark, the things that I did in the dark that I wouldn't tell my mother, these are things I'm not very proud of. A proud nation can't have millions of secrets. A proud nation can't kill a man, even a rotten, slimy man like Bin Laden, and celebrate it. Because it shows something about what's in the core of our soul. And it's dark, much darker than my shirt or the cigarette that I smoke. They'll pry this out of my cold, dead hand. But if I die with it in my mouth... I'll die with a smile on my face because this cigarette, as rotten as you think it to be, is a thing that's a sign of freedom as much as that flag that used to fly that no longer flies on my porch, if you will excuse me.